Okay, so in this particular video, I'm going to talk about signing up for CPA networks and how to increase your approval rate. You see, before you sign up for CPA networks, you must realize that they will not take just anybody. You see, CPA networks have an application screening process. So I'm going to give you some pointers, you know, as to how to increase your chance of being accepted. Now, before I actually mention all of this, I'm going to go back to Internet Explorer here just to show you the sign up page. When you sign up for NeverBlue, they're going to ask you the basic questions like your email, password, and all that. But then later on, they're going to ask you to fill out a full form. Now, I'm not actually going to go through it because I've already have a NeverBlue account, but I'm going to move forward here to Hydra Network because they have a good example of this on their first page but as you can see here you've got your email address first name last name address zip code phone and they're gonna ask you like how you're gonna promote it publisher type and they're gonna ask you for your website and things like that so now that you understand that there is a process for approval and it's sort of like a job application. You're, you're signing up, they're looking through, seeing which kinds of marketers they want to do business with and because they do assign you to an affiliate manager and they want to make sure that you are serious about promoting these CPA offers. Now, like I said earlier, if you don't know how to market as well and you, you have the drive to learn, then they want to see that too. So the first thing I want to point out is they're going to try to figure out how you will be promoting these CPA campaigns and these CPA offers. They're going to ask you how you're going to promote these. Are you going to promote them with PPC? Are you going to promote it with email, SEO, search engines, things like that? They want to know. So if let's say you choose something like PPC which is generally what I use when I talk to the CPA affiliate manager there they'll ask you questions and I'll point those out um, at the end of this video you also need to have a website uh oh you might not have a website but creating a website is not that hard and it's well worth it if you can create one with a website you're going to need web hosting and you're going to need a domain name preferably something that describes you maybe you could start creating a website about you and your resume so you could say your first name your last name dot com if it's available now you need to make sure that your website you have a website then your website looks professional so because presentation does count unfortunately in the society people do judge a book by its cover and in this case they're judging your website because they don't know you now if you're a person that does not know anything about setting up websites do not let this be a roadblock for you you can go on places like elance.com scriptlance.com rentacoder.com or any type of freelance site get somebody to set up a WordPress blog for you make sure that you choose a professional looking WordPress blog you can go to Google type that in find more information about that the bottom line you do need a website because they want to see that you're professional enough to have a website and that you when they see your website they're gonna presume oh, okay this person actually is probably marketing it and by with that assumption they think okay well in that case let's approve this person so you need to have a website and you need to show them that you know how to market things on the internet. So with that said, make sure that your website also has content on it, whether it's three or four content posts, blog posts. That's why I mentioned WordPress because it's a lot easier if you do that. And of course that brings us to the third thing. Avoid using free email accounts such as Gmail, Yahoo, MSN, etc. 
Because if you do that, what happens is you look less professional by doing this. I'm not sure if you've encountered this before, but I've encountered this before. And I've gone to websites, even though they look cheesy, a lot of informational websites are great. But one thing I've noticed is a lot of people tend to use free email accounts or they'll use their cable internet or DSL internet accounts like Bell South or Comcast or whatever. If you to tend to use that for business purposes, you're going to look a lot more unprofessional. Because your purpose of this video is try to make you look more professional. So avoid using free email accounts. If you do have a website, you should be able to set up an email account on that website very, very easily. So you want something like blank. I'll give you an example here. Blank at yourdomain.com. If you use that as an email address, I guarantee you that they'll look at you like, okay, this guy is actually pretty professional. Because I've had a lot of cases where I've used my Gmail account and a lot of people just take you less seriously. But if you use your website domain, then they take you as a person that you know owns an actual company. And lastly, make sure that you use your real phone number. Because you got to be ready when the CPA networks assign you to an affiliate manager or they screen you by calling you by phone. Now, this might be frightening for some of you, but you got to realize that CPA networks are serious about finding seasoned marketers who actually know what they're doing. So make sure that you sound very confident. So going back to the sign up page on Hydra Network. You can see that they ask you, please select your publishing channels. And you can select which ones you want. Like, okay, I do a lot of SEO, I do PPC, you know, I do newsletters, I do a lot of these stuff, but I don't do a lot of banners, I don't do pop ups, things like that. Because you got to realize when they call you, they're going to use that and they're probably going to ask you questions like, oh, okay, well, have you done PPC before? And here's the trick if you don't if you haven't done PPC before and you haven't done newsletters before but you have done a little SEO you could say well I don't know as much about PPC I know a lot about SEO and I've done SEO and I'm learning PPC but I'm getting into that market if you say that then they can see that oh this guy is self-motivated and disciplined enough that he knows a little bit about SEO but he doesn't know about PPC but he's investing his time or money into learning that that's the type of person that they want to see whether you know PPC or not so like I said if you do SEO give them examples of you doing SEO previously or if you've done PPC give them examples of that because using examples is great because it allows people to see that they're dealing with someone who knows actually what they're doing. So follow these tips that I've outlined here. Tell them how you'll promote it. Make sure you have a professional website, professional email address, and a real phone number. And of course, lastly, and not let's not forget, be confident. So with these tips, it should increase your approval rate. If you follow them step by step, I'm pretty sure of that. Now, in the next video, I'm going to assume that you either have signed up for CPA Network and have been approved. So you can go ahead and watch that. And when you do get approved, you can apply the methods that I'm going to show you in the next videos.